All right, more muscles. We got a lot to color in, you know, we got all this area to color in yet. This time I'm going to put a muscle in here. And I'm going to have that muscle go clean around and bump up right about there. Okay. Again, move. So I'm going to kind of bring that forward. This time I'm going to hold shift and kind of bring it forward, then smooth it out and bring it forward and smooth it out. So it, it, it attaches over here, but it does it in a way that it starts fading in. I'm going to do that down the sides here. I'm just going to hold shift. Okay, then I'm going to start pulling that this way. Go like that. Good. Okay, so I would imagine that this would be a little bit more flattened and I'll, you know, if this is all contracted and here, you take and flatten this out a little bit more. And usually when you take off frame, you can really see if there's anything that you got to smooth out or add to it. See how interesting that looks so far? And we don't even know what the kind of anatomy this is. It's just bumps moving into other bumps. Okay, I'll leave that frame off for a little bit. Usually I take the frame and turn it on just for the simple fact. I'm so used to having it on sometimes. Uh, it keeps me in bounds of things. So I don't get too out of hand stretching the mesh. Okay, so this one. And I'm, I'm going to go wild here and just add a few more here. This time I'm going to add something in this area that attaches here. And I'm going to smooth it out and add it, smooth it out, add it, smooth it out, add it. And what that'll do is it'll blend these two forms together. Again, I over exaggerate it a little bit. Again, I'm going like this smoothing, adding, smoothing, adding, smoothing, adding, smoothing. Okay, and then go in here, go to the move tool. I'm going to start moving these closer together and fading them into wherever they need to go. Okay, good. Now I'm going to take the pinch tool again and try to go in between these muscles and get them so they talk. See how how that defines those muscles against the other forms. A little shift on both sides to blend them into the the main and a little flatten. Okay, this one's going to be harder because there's there's some topology in this area that's really kind of nasty. If I turn on frame, you'll, you'll see I got an extraordinary vertice here 
that's going to block my every attempt to make something cool. Um, you know, you're going to learn that those extraordinary vertices are sometimes your worst enemy, um, and you just have to get around them. And the only way to get around them is have a large amount of polygons. Okay, so I'm in here. Um, I'm going to take the standard brush and subtract a little bit. I'm just going to subtract a little bit on this form. Add a little bit onto this form. And here, here again, I'm fighting topology. And that's one of the one things you're going to try to do and fail. But I'm going to show you that in the next video, how, you know, if you're fighting topology... You're going to have to either divide or reroute your polygons a little bit. And you can do that by using the move tool patiently. Okay, maybe a bone in that area will treat it as a collar. Okay, just flattening it out again and see how these are starting to blend together. So again, whenever I see a good blend with fake topology, I just go into using the pinch tool. And you can use it with a higher intensity if you wanted to. And you can go in here and really start saying, okay, well these two clip together. Just flatten it across a little bit, and then you got that. Flatten brush is working really good. It's one of those things that you can use at a very low rate. Okay, move on to the next video. We'll do some more muscles.